All right, hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is we're going to be trying to tell which is a hard boiled egg and which one is a soft boiled egg um, by just not guessing, but actually using the science behind it to figure it out. So there's an easy way. So if you're doing Easter eggs and you're trying to figure out which one's cooked, which one's raw, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to be able to find this out through the science. And we'll do that next. All right, so to be able to tell if it's a hard boiled egg or a soft boiled egg, you have to be able to spin it. If we spin it and it stands straight up, we know it's a hard boiled egg because it's a solid on the inside and the mass is the center and it'll be able to stand up. There it goes, right there. There's a hard boiled egg right there. Easy way to tell instead of guessing. So now we know it's a hard boiled egg. But now when we get the soft boiled egg, we're gonna uh, spin it and we should be able to see it's just gonna spin in a circle. It's not gonna stand straight up. And it just spins in a circle. And that's because the yolk on the inside is continually sloshing back and forth and won't give it that solid all the way up to be able to uh, stand straight up. Spin it again. But the cool thing about this is when we stop the egg and then release it, the egg will continue to spin because of Newton's first law. Right there, that is, that is cool science right there. So even though I stopped the hard shell, the yolk inside is still moving. So Newton's first law, something in motion continues in motion. The yolk is still moving. When I stop it, it actually will continue to go because unless it's stopped by another force, otherwise it will continue to move. Newton's first law. So we'll do it one more time. And there it is. That is cool science right there. I'll show you one more time from straight up and down. And if you enjoyed this experiment, please remember to click thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching.